bouncing on a trampoline might not seem like a big deal. But a year ago, Samantha couldn't do this. You see, she has a rare liver disease called biliary atresia that affects 1 in 20,000 kids. I wasn't well most of the time and I spent most of my time in bed and I was very tired. I had lots of operation and hospital stays and blood tests until finally I was put on an organ transplant list to get a new liver. And when she did, it changed her life. I can go to school more often and hang out with my friends and I can also go for walks without getting tired as easily. Organ transplants take a healthy organ from one person and give it to someone who needs it. While some organs like the kidney can be donated while someone's still alive, we have two and can live with just one, others like the heart, pancreas, lungs and liver can only be donated after someone dies. And it can be a long time on the waiting list for people like Samantha. When I got the call I was nervous and excited, also worried that it might be a false alarm. It was a big operation and it took a while to fully recover. But now I feel heaps better. And that is why I want to encourage people to become organ donors. Here in Australia, there are more than 1,600 people waiting for a life-saving transplant. And there are worries that fewer people are signing up to be donors. Australia has a national organ donor registry for people 16 and over, which lets doctors and your family know that you want to be a donor. But in most states, less than half of the population has signed up. South Australia is the exception, and some people reckon that's because in SA, people are asked to tick a box when they get their driver's licence. Some say we need to make people more aware of how important being an organ donor is. While it can seem like a bit of a grim thing to think about, Samantha says that one day it could mean the world to someone like her. I really hope that more people can um, become an organ donor because it's um, something to talk about with your family and also you're giving someone a second chance at life and everyone deserves that.